I don't know. Probably doesn't recognize that there's a lair here. Getting colder. Gotta be close. Wow, he brought lots and lots of stuff in this cave here. Everything from ships. Careful now. One odd step and you could wake him. Yeah, but this is why we're here, right? Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Hmm. He should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Alright, let's free him. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big. Looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on crit. Let me out right now. Wait here. I'll look for the key. Okay. <clears throat> Where could the key be? He woke up. Alright. It looks like he knows how to make armor for himself. Well, he was a stronger opponent than I thought. Now he's free. Exactly. I think the guy had no chance against the giant. Now that's gonna be a heavy trophy. Viggy, poor bugger. Should have let him out. Don't blame yourself. Viggy wasn't exactly the predictable type. As soon as he was out, he could have run at the giant brandishing not but his fist and his prick. No telling what would have happened. Fight might have not gone our way. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Alright, thanks, so be Sure it. sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. <laughs> okay. So be it. If you're gonna be a king, here. it will work out. Let's go. Gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onrik, and lost my entire crew. Who else has put forth a claim? Blue Boy Lugos, surely. And Otrig, Stan Riga. And Ceres. Ceres? Me says? But she's... She sailed off to Speakerog. Alone. Alone? What on earth was she thinking? Someone ought to sail after her. Stop this foolishness. She's back already. What's more, she was successful. Oh. She always liked competing with me. I've always won in the end so far, though. Well, time I was on me way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, on Crate. All right, then. I do wonder if uh, King's Gambit, what's that all about? <clears throat> I wonder. All right, let's go and um, 
celebrate together with him. Interestingly, if just because of a side quest, he becomes a king, then I change the history of Skellige. Because if not for me, he probably would be dead fighting that that beast. Master Geralt, a guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krako wits. Great. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. Had a good feast. Meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent? No. Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. Now look at that armor. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! Where's Crack? Don't see Crack. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Got me some Alright, so let's see how the feast looks like. Obviously, there's a lot of good food on the table. Oh, yeah. Been advancing. Soldiers from all clans have gathered. They have the giant's head. For everybody to see, girls jumping on the tables. Let's go. Hopefully, I'll get my reward. It's gonna be a good one. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Well, that's against the democratic traditions that they have. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. That sounds like um, a civil war to some extent. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. 
Double meads, triple, sintry and plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. So let's see if there's any intrigues. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay, they're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. <laughs> 